everyone. I am State Park Interpreter Jean Ryan here at the Antelope Valley California Pocket Reserve. And I'm here today to tell you about one of our native plants. It will be our featured plant of the day. This is called Fiddleneck. Now, Fiddleneck is a native California plant. And this year we're having a really big Fiddleneck year. Every year we have different flowers that come up in greater numbers than we usually have. Sometimes we have plants that we haven't seen in years or we didn't even know grew here that was just in the seed bank waiting for the perfect conditions, the right amount of rain, the right timing of the rain, um, the right amount of soil temperature and um, moisture content. So there's a lot of different factors involved in what kinds of plants that we have coming up out here in the desert. So Fiddleneck is a a California native plant and it's named Fiddleneck because the shape of the seed head or the flower head here is kind of like the curled neck of a fiddle and for those who don't know fiddles are like a really small violin it's kind of an old-timey thing but a lot of people do still play the fiddle now Fiddlenecks it's got the flowers blooming here and then these right here are the flowers that have not yet bloomed and then over here, these are seeds, these are flowers that have already bloomed and are going to be going to seed pretty soon. And um, Fiddleneck is something that people have all over California. It's our native, one of our native plants, so um, we do want to have it here, but a lot of people don't like it because it's got this fur on it. This fur is one of its adaptations for surviving in the desert and it kind of helps to keep those drying winds from desiccating them like a lot of other plants. So Fiddleneck is very well adapted to these dry conditions. It's also got that kind of light blue-green color that we see on a lot of our desert plants that helps to reflect some of that heat when it gets really hot. So it's very well adapted here and this is actually uh, a plant that was eaten by our California Indians. This was one of the first First plants that, that that they could eat after a long winter of just eating you know dried things like um, seeds and and um, dried meats so um, fiddle neck those these early these early green leaves are were edible and um, it was the first thing that they would be able to eat that was nice and fresh and green now another thing about fiddle neck is a lot of people don't like it because it is very bad for horses and cattle. The seeds and the leaves cause cirrhosis in um, cirrhosis of the liver in, in cattle and horses. So ranchers don't like it. Um, hikers don't like it because this fur on it that protects it turns into these little annoying irritating kind of slivery things that hikers find stuck in their socks and kind of they're kind of prickly they're not going to actually inject you with anything and you know leave you with a rash they're just kind of irritating so um, even though a lot of people don't like them we like to have them here at the reserve because it's part of our natural ecosystem we have a lot of butterflies that love landing on the the fiddle neck um, when we get the painted lady butterflies migrating through they'll be all over it um, we get bees, we get um, a lot of different kind of pollinating insects on the, on the fiddle neck. So, but what's really extraordinary this year is it's very tall. It's not normally this tall. This is like a foot and a half, almost two feet tall. They're usually shorter, so they're really, really happy this year. Um, so that's, uh, that's about all I have to tell you about fiddle neck, and um, we will feature more of our native plants coming soon. Thanks so much for joining me at the Antelope Valley California Pocket Reserve.